So Halloween's coming up, and I understand, yeah. like, you, this is a very, you love the holiday. I do. Like, so much so that you leave, is this true? They said that you leave the decorations up year-round. All year-round. You don't take Halloween decorations down? No. What do you have out there right now? Well, you got your tombstones, you got a lot of, like, sneaky skulls, um, you know. What happens at Christmas? your bats, your witch, your witches, it's just, uh, what's that? What, what about Christmas? I think they, they go well together. <laughs> I don't think they're mutually exclusive. So you add Christmas decorations during Christmas, and I then like you take... spooky Christmas. You don't like a spooky Christmas? Uh, I like spooky things, yes. Yeah. But wait, so you put them out there for Christmas, and then you take them out, but leave the Halloween? Yeah, leave the Halloween. Yeah. The people in your neighborhood <laughs> must really be upset by that. To have, because it's one thing, there are people who leave Christmas decorations up year round. Yeah. But to leave tombstones up year round yeah. and witches and bats is different. We're kind of the, like the monsters on our block. I bet you are. Yeah. I bet you are. Um, so let's talk about you learning how to fly. Okay. Did you get your license? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. What, how far did you get? Not very far at all. <laughs> what, what did you well, learn? Well, I had on? this, you know, Neil, so I. I uh, Played Neil Armstrong in his film First Man, and, yes. and and flight was you know he was Neil was flying before he could drive, so it felt like a something I should learn how to do. Right. And um, if I'm honest, I thought you always hear about celebrities flying, so I thought how hard could it be? <laughs> if celebrities can do yeah, it, celebrities yeah. doing it's got to be uh, it's very hard. Yeah. No. Yeah. So you learned on like a small like a twin engine thing. Yeah, like a Cessna, and um, it was. Uh, they asked me to take it into a, a stall, like a self-imposed stall. And I thought, uh, you know what else is stalled? My interest in flying. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> so you were up, was it your first flight? No, I had taken like a few yeah, weeks. Because they don't do the stall like Not right away. Right away. Yeah. Yes. They, cause they, you give a little bit of experience before you tell someone to stall so you go into a free dive. Yeah. Yeah. Like so you... One of my first few lessons, we flew over my house and I waved to my kids. And I thought I could get used to this. That's fun, yeah. And then he said, let's put it into a stall. And I thought, oh, no, let's, let's, let's land. <laughs> and I'll spend my time learning other things. <laughs> I'll wave to my kids from the car. But I heard, did Portia learn how to fly? Well, P Portia learned on a helicopter. And she Which had. Which way harder. Yeah, yeah, that's, I don't even understand the paddles and all that stuff. But yeah, she got her, uh, I don't know if she got her license, but she has many, many hours on a helicopter. That but, is yeah. very impressive. I know, very impressive. Yeah. She's quite something, that woman.